Hey y'all, Runaway Child with a powerful telecast today. Make sure y'all stay until the end on this one. This is a great info. Please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment, share. You know what I'm saying? Do all of those things. Make sure you hit that noty bell so you can be in the know when I drop all of my content. What's going on? How everything been with y'all over there? Yeah, I'm guessing you. We all good. We doing great. Yeah, yeah. We having good time, you know. We're just, you know, it's because of the, you know, the quarantine right now, you know. Because of the quarantine, they trying to make us, you know, try, but it starts at 6, 6 p.m. So that's why we, we couldn't even really, like, you know, go out, you know, make some videos, other stuff. That's why. That's right. Always been live. That's right. That's right. So for for the people who listening and for the people that don't really know, where are y'all located at right now? We are uh, we are located in we are located in Alibandeng, Libreville, Alibandeng. So 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 how is it over there? Like you know we got a lot of rappers and stuff over here that's successful, and you know we got a lot of people that's over here splurging a lot of stuff like that. What's it like over there? Like for the music industry and all that kind of stuff. What's it like? You know the mu- the music industry right here is not really like I can't say that is like, like I can't really say that we got a big industry, but the industry is coming up really fast. You know it's really really coming up really fast. You know, but I think like you know by the help of our you know and, uh, our people in the diaspora, you know our people in the diaspora, if they can come together and do something like a collab like a collaboration, I think like. We're gonna get up there someday, you know, because we have some other artists, you know, few of our artists that we have, I can say they're really trying the best, you know, really, really trying. Because they're trying to, you know, make sure that, you know, to put the flag out out there, you know, to put the you know, to put the code out there, to put two four one out there. So what about like gangsters and stuff like that? You know, like in the States, you know, we got the gangsters and stuff over here, so called gangsters, you know what I'm saying? What about over there? Like, how does all that play out? No, about the gangster stuff, you know, I can say like, I can say like, we, we don't really get the stuff like gangster stuff, all the stuff, because you know what, yeah, it is illegal for you to get a position of an arms. Right. It's illegal for you to get a position, for you to like have a position of an arms. It's illegal. When you're caught, you're going in for it, you're going to jail. That's right, that's right. You are going to jail. You know, there is nothing like, for example, when you get to a club, to a nightclub, and you can, like, say that, like, something come out and you experience shooting. No, you can never experience that over here. You can never experience such a thing like that over here. There is nothing like that over here. Right, right. So everybody's kind of together and everybody on the same accord then, huh? Everybody comes together. There's harmony. You know, there's peace. And there's nothing like, you know, you can get, like, we're talking about civil war. No, we have never experienced anything like civil war before, you know. There is right. peace, is how everybody enjoying him or herself, you know. Right. Because, see, on, on TV, what they show us over here is something different. They show us that, you know, they got the real, true-to-life gangsters that's being brought up from when they age four years old. They walking around toting, you know what I'm saying? AK 47s and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So I just wanted you to clarify that for the for the people that's that's watching and listening, you know what I mean? Yeah, I actually I wanna let them know that, you know, Africa they have to understand one thing that Africa as a whole is combined of fifty five countries. There are fifty five countries in Africa and Gabon in general and Gabon in specific, Gabon is located in Central Africa. There is nothing like civil war. There is nothing like um, child labor or whatsoever people are seeing on TV. Us in Gabon, we don't have that. There is nothing like that. We are a peaceful people. We are a peaceful country. We have a history of peace and unity. You know, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are people. We are a, a type of like loving people. You know, we got, we, we, we welcome strangers. And and, and 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 we believe in peace and unity. Right, right. That's how we believe. That's what we believe. We believe, and that's what we stand for. Peace so, and unity. So, 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 if someone wanted to take a trip over there, you know what I'm saying, and 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 see how it was, or maybe purchase land or something like that over there, anything, 
what would be your recommendations on how they could get it done? All right, if anybody, if anybody wanna wanna get a lot from America, from everybody like black and American, that's what I'm saying right now. Because you know what, what really got me angry is because our people, our African brothers and sisters in the diaspora, they are leaving the white folks coming over here, purchasing all the land, getting all the land, and getting all the opportunities right at home. And they just sit their eyes back there and watch. They forget to know that there is something to be done back home. They are the rightful owner of those land, of all those things that they have to do. They have to come and do it by themselves. You know, there are a lot of white folks, a lot of white folks over here that are coming here purchasing the land. We ain't got any, we ain't got any law restricting restricting strangers to get like like to purchase the land. If you want to purchase a land, you can purchase a land. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter who you are. You purchase a land and you can, you know, the land is going to be yours and it's as easy as possible. And if you have plans to come over to Gabon, as in general, Gabon is a free country, you know. You just have to go online and apply for the, you just have to go online and apply for the, for the, for the, for the e-visa. You go to, you know, www.gabon.com gabonevisa.com and apply for that when you apply application is free it's free of charge you're not going to charge you you know you're not going to be charged for of every of anything not even a dime right when you apply then you can come over you can just book your flight you come over when you come and when you arrive at the airport that's when they're going to give you the visa the country is open for ever for e- almost everything like like the trade like businesses investment whatsoever thing they can think about you know there are a lot of opportunities and they have to know that we are still a young country we are still growing up we, we have a bright future right when it comes to our population we have a bright future and the population is rapidly increasing they that's have right to know that they are, I, I, there are a lot of opportunities here home that they have to come and do it i don't want them to allow the white folks to come do it by themselves i don't want the, the white folks to come to come in like like let the white i don't want the white folks to come over and take away our our, our money take away our millions and our billions you know? right i think like it is in their place for them to come make it happen for them to come make for them to come be that billionaire and that millionaire that they always want to be right right so they need to return back over there and and and, and put their stake in right yeah they need to return home they need to come back home we are not saying that they should come back home and stay if they don't want to stay if they want to stay like good they can come home and do something there are many opportunities in, in there is something like like you don't understand in america when you are planning to open a company in america you when you open that company you will be one of you will be one of the millions companies that you have opened you won't even be recognized but when you come down home and do it home in africa you have to know that you'll be one of the few your company will be one of the few companies that are in africa and it will be it will be it will be easy to be recognized and it will be recognized trust me you will be you will be you'll be recognized by the people and by the government and it's going to help not just only the, 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 the community and it's going to help also the government right so what so what about when it comes down to the women and stuff over there like what's 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 all of that like the women yeah we got beautiful women you know when it comes to women we got we got beautiful women you know right they gotta understand, they gotta understand one thing that here in Gabon is a motherland it's not a fatherland Gabon is a motherland you know women dominate the men right the women dominate the men you know it's just like the women you know the women they, they, they got the power they got the saying, you know, they listen to them more than the men. Like, for example, if you are somebody, if you are somebody that, you know, like, you are somebody from another African country, when you come here and you have a baby with a, with, 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 with a girl or with a woman from here, when you, are, when you are about going back to your country, you know, you can, they can't allow you to take the, you can, they can't allow you to take the baby because the baby automatically becomes um, 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 the property of the state it becomes the property of the government and the property of the of of, of the woman right and 
Yeah, the women get the same. You know, the women get the final saying. You no, know, the women really get the same when it comes to 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 to, to, to law making or all the stuff like rights. Women get the same. You know. That's right. That's right. So so, yeah. is it different from over here in the states? Can you have multiple? Can she have multiple husbands or multiple wives or how does that work? Of course, of course, it depends on how you are found. Like, like when you guys, when you get married to her, it depends on what you, on what you sign on, on what you guys sign on. If, if it is polygamy or monogamy, it depends on on, on your argument, on, on on your argument. You know, it depends on your argument. You know, so right. a woman can have like. So a woman can get married, then break up and get married again. A man can get married to as many as as he wants, depending on the argument on the other lady, on the other women. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 And so it's totally different over there than what it is like over here. Like it's certain places that you can record or can't record and all that kind of stuff, huh? Not really, not really, you know, you can record everywhere, but it's just that, you know, when you go out to record, you know, there are some people that, you know, some people want you to, you know, to give them something, like a little token, before they can allow you to, like, you know, place a camera in front of them, you know, right. and some people don't, some people don't want to be recorded, right, Totally, right. some people don't want to be recorded, that's right, that's right, that's what it is. But you can record, you can record anywhere that you want to record. You know, there is nowhere that I can say like this is restricted. Apart from the, apart from the government, you know, offices, like the government places, like a government office. For example, we got the prime minister office, and you know, all the ministers' offices and the presidency. That's right. Only that's that's only way I can say like you know it's restricted. I see y'all liking all my stuff from over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I appreciate the love, man, and you know I'm gonna continue to show love back. All right. And all right. I appreciate this interview, man, and y'all take care. I'll be in touch with y'all because I'm definitely all coming right. over I wanna, there. I, I want to use the opportunity and also say that let them go subscribe to Exit Us Gabon because it's a channel of one of our brother, one of our um, of, of our brothers. You know, they are from America. You know, they come back and they try to show some stuff. You know, they're trying to show some stuff about Africa. You know, they have, it's all about the channel, it's all about, you know, someone who spent all his time, like, in America, then coming back home, you know, showing, showing, showing the diaspora how home exactly looks like, because I don't think that, maybe they, they might not believe me, but they should go subscribe to Exit Us Bond and see things for themselves, because they got one of their brothers, somebody who have lived, that spent all his life in America, but he decided to come back home and do his thing home, so they can... They can see more content there and see his day-to-day -day life activities. That's right. All right. Yeah. All right, M. Hoy, man. You take care, man, and I will talk at y'all later. All right. Thanks, Thanks for so joining much. Flat Trucking. All right. Thank you so very much. All I right. appreciate it.